So hi everyone, today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Madhav with us. So Madhav, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi Ashish, good afternoon. Thanks for inviting me. So comes to my intro. I am Animela Vain Venkata Madhav, computer engineer graduate from Sri Venkateshwara University, which is in Tirupati. So I've started my career as an intern in Cognizant. Then later on, I've joined Lumen Technologies. And from past one year, I'm working as an Android developer in Lumen Technologies. And recently I got selected in Namayatri. Right. And he's going to share his interview experience with Namayatri, his journey to Namayatri, and he's also going to give some amazing tips on how you can crack a company like Namayatri. So make sure that you watch it till the end. And Madhav, start us off with your interview experience at Namayatri. So basically, it's a seven-step process for completing this Namayatri hiring process. Yeah. Uh, I got a mail from a uh, Namayatri team that uh, there is going to they are connecting one hack uh, one exam in Hackerat. Because I've already applied to JustPay. Now my three is basically of JustPay. Now it got funded and it got a separate company. So I've applied to JustPay in my college and I've got rejected at the time. So I got a mail to try for Namaya three. So I just went to apply because I'm actively looking for to change. So I got a mail. Then I've applied through HackerEd. The first step is a application process. Then they got uh, then they sent me an OA, which is an online assessment. Which is on October 18th around. So it consists of three questions. DS consists of graph. One is an easy, medium, and hard question. So it is a one and a half hour process. So it should be like two and 2.5 questions need to be correct. Which is like for 300, it should be around 225 to 30 marks need to be get. That is the qualification. After like one and a half week, I got one more mail that I've shortlisted for the next round, which is a DSA round again, which consists of, which is a step three of this process, consists of only one three question, which is, uh, I believe it's a hard question because I am not actively looking into DSA, I've just applied, which is a very less time. So it's a three question. This consists of three questions and it's uh, consists of three uh, types operations we have to do for the particular tree, which is an MRA tree, we can say, not exactly the question, like so. So, Reading this for this one also around 230 to 50 is the qualification marks. Then after we got a again shortlisted mail and now they conducted one online meeting for all the people who got shortlisted for step two. Uh, that is step three, which means that a DSA of three question. We had a call with the HR. Then she explained what is the next process. So first a uh, party discussion of the three question. So we'll be assigning one one interview interviewer for each person. There, they will be discussing about our resume and how we got those ideas, whatever the things that we have used in the particular coding assessment, that three question. Each variable, why exactly we have used, uh, then they have asked us to optimize the time complexity. Why exactly we have used that approach? Why don't we use different approach? The whole idea of that interview is to test that, whether we have done completely on our side or we have checked anything online. That is of step four. So come to the step five, that is the part B discussion of same question, the trick where we have to make it as a thread safe and synchronized without using any, all the libraries which are already existing in particular language, whichever you will be using. So we have to use pure DSA skills to make it as thread safe. Let's say like two threads are pointing to same function and there should not be any inconsistency or anything, any issue. So this hackathon till before this, like a till party interview, everything is online. But they sent a mail and HR directly contacted through normal phone call that it's an in-person interview. All the all the next process is an in-person, not like online. So here it became a little bit tricky and we got a little bit tense because we only have one and a half day time to plan all these things. Just to book the tickets and we went there to Bangalore to the particular office. We got stay from them only. So it started around morning 10 o'clock. So first uh, all CEO and CIO came. They gave the introduction about the company and JSP also. All interactions went with the people and the interviewers and all the uh, uh, then Once we got comfortable, they explained the question. All the interviewers, I mean the mentors came and explained the question. And we have allocated for each two people, there'll be one mentor. So that's the process. So around 11, the examination started. And the tricky part here is we should not open our laptops on like uh, online coding assessment. They're given two, three papers for us, plain blank sheets. 
and they have asked us to write the logic like a pseudo code type of logic that we have written it in the normal uh, dsa round in the first online assessment so we have written the pseudo code then each mentor came to each person and asked what is the race conditions and what are all the things that we have uh, we can in this so that is how uh, just of our before lunch this is the uh, situation there sooner uh, we have discussed all the thing then we went for lunch then we came back after coming back it's still more like we have to resolve two functions uh, out of three functions i have mentioned there was three types of operations that we have to do on the particular tree so two for, for two functions we have to make it as a thread safe uh, so little bit many people got stuck in between they are helping a lot not like directly they will be asking some questions to test our knowledge if they can give particular hint whether we are able to resolve that uh, from that hint we are able to resolve the solution or not that is how that ask questions instead of directly giving hints they'll be asking questions to into track that is how it went then it will be like on 7 evening 7 o'clock it will be some people completed too early some people got a little bit late i completed it around 4:30 or 5 o'clock that is how the next and next is a interview that is a step five, uh, step 6 you can say in person interview because we got a half an hour or 45 minutes time so where the person so got get that part then they'll be directly going into the interview after getting like half an hour break we got snacks and things we got a little bit fresh air <laughs> we went outside so we are a little bit nervous now uh, it's a first time so we directly yeah it we directly went into the uh, in person interviews so for me there was three interviewers in the panel so i went i uh, created all of them so they have started with my introduction and the resume so they have checked all my resume and they uh, noted some points and they focused on the particular points technical words so what exactly you mean this how you have done that particular part i mentioned i have optimized this that in my uh, previous experience how you did that so with you have connected because it's a, it will be affecting business team so how will you contact the business team and how will you uh, like how will you say that so that business team need to say that so this how this discussion went around to 10 to 15 minutes on my resume then uh, i've said what is your strong points weak points they have asked i've said uh, my dsa you believe so then they have directly jumped into some normal dsa question based on graph you can say any traversal then they have asked me for uh, system design directly they went to system design so yeah here it comes uh, so while coming to system design i was not that much good at system design i have said in the beginning only i am not that much good but i am very open to whatever the questions you have i am very open to try all those things with my whole knowledge so they were really impressed and they gave to design some something like uber or namayatri anything because it's a th- of namayatri so they have asked so i have started from the basic things what all the things i have to do so in between i'm using some different terms that they haven't heard because i'm very new to system design i haven't seen how to explain those things so they focused on wherever i'm getting out of track they focused on the things so one in one place they uh, they were like how will you search something in app so in if you take uh, the whole world as a map how will you search particular persons so there they asked me how what is the data structure you will be using how can you optimize that so that alone discussion how can we optimize space and time complexity went for around 1 hour because i'm living out of track they gave me board three all the, it is an in person so they gave me board and they gave me marker i have to draw the diagrams and i have to explain what are all the steps and math i'll be tracing how i comp, how i op- derive the complexity in general so i have to derive the optimal uh, solution and i have to derive the complexity as well so all the things i have to do all three persons were asking different different questions so and then i got 90% optimal solution not 100% so that is how the first part of interview and then i thought okay i tried my best i was so happy because i learned a lot of things while discussing with them yeah uh, without knowing the time it was like 1 or 45 minutes it went the interview uh then i have asked uh, what might be the optimal solution so they have explained the here the main key constraint is that i didn't agreed what they said i have written asked so many questions that i have so if this is the case i am believing there is a 
still more optimal solution either from your side like there some discussion went then they clarified thoughts so here they liked me even though i didn't completed all the 100% thing but they liked how i written question them because whatever they think i am not thinking it as correct still i have so many doubts pointing in written so they saw me something so they agreed to move to the next round so the seventh round is a ceo round with directly ceo will having either it can uh, it is a mix of technical hr cultural fit all the things this also went for around 2 hours to 2 to 2.15 hours so yeah because uh, it was transferred to next day uh, all the interview completed by night uh, somewhere around 2 o'clock for some people so we are all already tired so we are shifted to next day i interviewed at uh, 2:30 in the afternoon next day sunday so first i went so two people were there me and uh, one more guy is there so we both sat in a different uh, panels so first uh, ceo went to one guy and he gave question and came back to me he gave the question explain all the things and introduction all that and then he went to uh, the previous guy asking so he was simultaneously switching and asking and providing the still more optimal solutions need to be done so for me first the question is a puzzle which i am unable to solve at that particular time i have optimized the same like before but it's not a complete optimal solution i have tried a lot but i didn't uh, get through that because i don't know that puzzles will be asked uh, till now i have seen puzzles but what i thought puzzles in general is a normal puzzles uh, some small puzzles i thought but this is way which what i thought which is out of my mind so it took a lot of time somewhere around 40 45 minutes i have tried i didn't got the optimal solution he gave me some hints but i am unable to catch the hints exactly so it went like that then uh, i thought okay it went uh, okay okay then he asked all the cultural fit questions and hr questions about me myself and my childhood all the things all the things then then uh, uh, he said you, now it's done the, the interview is done you can uh, stay back to your hometown it's good interviewing you i, I got so many experiences something like that we have discussed uh, then i thought okay it's fine all done so this is how my interview went uh, later on i thought here is the end but later one day ceo again contacted me through mail which i have registered with so he gave me some questions because my interview went little bit well previously so he again contacted me through mail that i have given you one question and he gave one more question through mail and he asked me to answer this so I uh yeah i've done in paper all the rough work i've done i've put that in the screenshot in the mail and i've explained how i approach this part because while i'm coming home i've thought of the same solution why i did so i solved in the bus only uh, while thinking so when he uh, contacted me i've contacted through mail again of given all the solutions so he got uh, satisfied with that so it went around two days something like so because i'm already working there is releases so it took two days to solve that so that was the entire interview process right okay. pretty hectic man pretty long yeah <laughs> one of the longest interview processes i've ever seen right yeah, seven step i haven't seen anything like so all right so that was a pretty hectic interview experience pretty long interview process so if someone is going for namayatri's interview next you know what advice would you like to give them so that they're able to crack it like you were able to so in general what i'll suggest is to be very good at trees and graph dsa because i have seen hmm. anywhere jsp or namayatri which is uh, connecting it will be asking either trees or graphs and for graphs all the basic bfs dfs traversals and dice algorithm that is must and for trees level order post order in order all these all these four and apart from that all the basic questions in trees commonly will be asked in one particular question it might be the thing so basically trees and graphs all the traversals and system design high level design is fine so low level design no need to worry mm-hmm. about much high level design should be must and os and cn will be asked in between for me they didn't ask but for other people they have asked so os and cn system design trees and graphs is the must thing to crack namayatri hmm 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 
right right okay so i guess that covers pretty much everything about your interview experience with namayatri and if anyone wants to crack namayatri then how they'll be able to do so if anyone still has any doubts or they want to ask anything then i'll give madhav's linkedin in the description you guys can follow him from there and connect with him from there so thanks a lot madhav for connecting with me and you know sharing your interview experience that will help a lot of students so yeah thanks for coming yeah, thank you ashish